Hey there loves, this is Renee and welcome back. Today I just want to focus on the rejection. I keep hearing rejection is protection and rejection is just a mirroring that there's something that is being reflected back to you. Some way you're not healed, some way you're not loving yourself. Frankly, I thought to myself, I've done so much healing. <laughs> I love myself at the fullest. What the heck? Why are they still rejecting me? Why do I still get rejected? Then I had to dive deeper. Right? And I think that if you take a look at your individual situation, you may even see the same thing. But that rejection, it's protection, that's for sure. And it may be protection for both of you. But that rejection is them protecting themselves, basically. Especially if you're on this soulmate journey. Especially if you have a counterpart, a twin soul, right? Looking at it from their perspective, the rejection is a feeling of being overwhelmed, scared as hell about falling deeply for you when all things tell them that you're not real that you're trying to dupe them in some sort of way right that you can't be real you can't love them like that no one has ever loved them the way that you do no one has ever showed them so much kindness so much grace no one has ever had the patience with them that you have so yeah i do believe that it is protection but i believe that it's not just a reflection and for some it may be a reflection of things that need to be healed but for the majority of us who have been through the healing, constantly going through the healing, you know, constantly diving into that self-love, you know, giving gratitude, being graceful, finding your peace. And I feel like it's not just a reflection. It's them being just totally overwhelmed. Feeling like if they accept the situation, <laughs> if they don't take their time and totally think this through, that it'll be the end of them because this is very intense. This is very overwhelming. And I think that looking at it, at it from my twin soul's point of view, I know that they just want to be right. They just want to do right because he has only shown kindness even at the most bitter times right has shown a lot of patience and has always shown that he never wanted to hurt me at all you know, every time I needed something, 
he was there. Every time I didn't have anyone else to turn to, he was there. Even if there were other people in the picture. Right? So I feel like these mirror exercises and, you know, all of this, you know, if they're rejecting you, there's something within you you need to fix. No, honey, keep fixing you the way that you're supposed to. You're totally on the right path. You're doing wonderful in your journey. If you're doing the healing, you're loving yourself, you're doing wonderful in your journey. And, but they're also on their own journey. And I think that rejection is showing that that's the healing that they need to do. You know, um, I feel like the divine masculine is having a lot of trouble. I feel a lot of chaos, a lot of chaotic experiences that they're going through. They're not sure who to trust. They're not sure who to believe. They're getting advice from bad sources. And they're also going on childhood experiences, which can be very confusing, especially when someone like you comes into their life and you totally flip it upside down just by being you. So when people tell you that rejection is protection, in some cases it's true, but in some cases it's saving your heart from heartbreak. It's not something within you that you still need to heal. It's not something within you that is being reflected from the other person. It's that you love in a way that can bring people to their knees. And that's very unique. You are very unique. In a world full of gray houses, you're a blue house. So I just wanted to come on here and just talk to you. Because I don't agree with all of the things that are being said about twin souls, twin flames, soulmates. About the divine masculine. Give him grace. Give him patience. Give him understanding. Because he just needs time. He needs space to work on the things that he needs to work on. This road is not easy by all means. This road is hard as hell. If you know, you know, right? And as painful as it is for you, think about how painful it is for the Divine Masculine. So have patience. And spread your love. I hope this helps. 
Many blessings to you. Love and light.